Namaste to everyone. Pradeep here from Vinyasa Yoga Ashram. Today we shall talk about one of the arm balancing poses known as uh, Bakasana and we translate it as Crow Pose. I shall be letting you know the way to get into the position. Well remember that positions are just a consequence of the movement you perform and the efforts you make. So don't you try to always you know judge yourself on the basis of what position you are in. You should always try to make an effort to get somewhere. No matter you go into the position or not, that's not in your hand. But if your efforts are efficient enough, you must be able to perform this or any position. So today I shall be letting you know that what are the efforts you can make to make yourself stronger, to make yourself you know stable enough to hold this position and perform this position which is uh, not really a beginner position but this can really make you feel that how the coordination of the body is felt when you are in this you know animal or bird looking position bakasana so we shall start from squat position first of all when you're in squat what is the next thing you do is you keep your feet hip width apart and then Create your, keep your knees a little wider so your shoulders can be bent forward. So try to reach your elbows down. So this is the preparatory position for Bakasana. Means you should be allowing your hip to bend as much as possible. After that, when your hips, uh, when your shoulders go downward, you'll try to adjust your shoulder outside the knee. I mean inside the knee. Your shoulders, outer shoulders should be inside the knee. If when you bend forward, that's what happens to you. Crow pose may be a very challenging position for you. So before you get to try that position, I would recommend you to perform these movements. So try to deepen your shoulder movements. So squeeze your, squeeze your tailbone downward, round your shoulders as if in a cat position, and then try to bring your shoulder as closer as possible to the knees. Once your both shoulders are closer to the knees, now you can squeeze, squeeze the knees to the shoulders. Try to squeeze the knees to the shoulder, squeeze the knees to the shoulder. Once you are in the position, keep on squeezing the tailbone towards the face. Shoulders are pushing downward, shoulders are trying to resist the knees and knees are squeezing. Then you place your palms shoulder width apart, make sure the surface is flat enough. Then simply you have to keep on squeezing the shoulder, keep on resisting that. Simply raise the heels as high as possible and lean forward. Lean forward, keep on squeezing the knees, keep on pushing the floor away with your hands and try to look forward. You'll hold this position for 5 to 10 breaths. Well, it depends how long you want to work with this. Now, not everybody in the beginning will be able to bear so much body weight onto the hands. So make sure you do wrist movement and wrist exercises first. And what is important is, as I said in the beginning, not always going to the whole position is what we want. What we actually want is that you are trying to make those efforts. What are those efforts? Trying to push the floor with your hands, effort one. Trying to open up the chest, effort two. While your knees are still squeezing against the shoulders. And finally, you should be trying to squeeze the tailbone downward towards the shoulder as if you are rounding your back. Imagine you are doing cat position. So take a look at this, me in cat position adjusting my shoulders under squeezing the knees lifting the feet one by one or together so this is a crow pose bakasana i hope you understood this pa uh, this pattern and uh, effort that i have counted you now when a beginner tries to perform this position he is in the fear of falling forward so make sure you put something in front of your head so you when you fall forward you support it you can also do it in front of wall so your head can reach the wall and support you from falling. Keep on practicing. Namaste.